Alright guys, welcome to what I hope is a start of a fairly successful YouTube channel. So um, I've decided I wanted to start a Let's Play of Valheim. This is a game that I've been wanting to uh, play for a minute. I went ahead and got it. And I've also always wanted to do a Let's Play series on something. So um, we're going to do both. I'm going to start the game. Um, Fresh. I have played it a bit on my own, and I'm absolutely in love with it. And I'm going to sort of fresh play through for us to go through it together and kind of learn, learn along the way and see what we can come up with. So let's go ahead and start the game. We're going to create a new character. And we will make him male. I'll leave him bald. And then this happens to be my favorite beard at the moment. Hair tone. somewhere in there. And then for the name, we will just call him Jor. Done. Alright, and then I have made a world for this Let's Play, and it's going to be Let's Play Island. Let's go ahead and hit start, and hop right in. <clears throat> Alright, that loading screen wasn't that bad, because I've loaded the world before. Alright, long ago, the Allfather Odin united the world. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the boughs that held their prison to the world tree, and left it to drift, unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not, <clears throat> excuse me, it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. Alright, and um, we have, I think this is Hugin, one of... Um, Odin's birds flying us in. Oh, I see mountains already. The biome there. Um, he's flying us in, or she, he or she, I'm not sure which it is. Um, is flying us to our drop point here on our starter island. Alright, he's taking us in. Kind of hitting these trees there, buddy. All right. Boom. All right, we got a nice spot on the ocean. So we'll let it clear up a bit before we talk to him. All right, it looks like we are uh, on the edge of a bay of sorts. So depending on what biomes are on that side of the bay, this could be fairly useful. Um, for transporting some of the rarer things. Oh, okay, cool. And this is something I wondered about. Is if I had a character... We'll talk about skills in a moment. If I had a character before, um, if the world itself was persistent. So you see this log that I lost in the water? That is actually here from a little test I was doing prior to creating this Let's Play. So that answers that, I suppose. Oh, these cute little guys. So this is a neck. I don't know what it is. It's like a salamander with lily pads for skin. Oh dear. This was a mistake. Alright. I knew y'all were coming back. Alright, so there we go. Um, we got a few resources here, so let's go ahead and talk about the skills really quick. Um, well, here we have our compendium, so this will tell you your active effects. So right now we're wet, which lowers our health and stamina regen. Health by 25, stam by 15. And then, um, looks like we have, I would also add damage modifiers. So it's weak against frost or lightning, and we're, we're, we are more resistant to fire, which may be useful later on. Keep that in mind. 
And then the message log is just all the system message that we've gotten. Alright, and then here we have our actual skills. So in this game, you skill your skills level up in you with use. So much like Skyrim, as opposed to Ingrams and Attributes, um, here you're more focused on actually getting your skills up. So for instance, Unarmed is where we were punching those little necks, and that's our damage whenever we have no weapons. That's now level 3. Running is the speed in which we run and the stamina drain while running. So that's only level 1. And then we start out and we have default weapons, or excuse our default we weapon ability is clubs, and then we also have a skill for blocking. And then moving on, we have trophies. We haven't collected any, so we don't see any here yet. And then you can toggle PvP damage on and off. Um, since we're playing alone, that really doesn't matter. Over here we have our crafting window, where we will eventually unlock some skills. And then over here we have our inventory. So, let's go ahead and talk to Hugin here. I am Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. So, I don't know if it's actually in-game, but um, the story says that if we slay these Forsaken, um, we can leave Valheim and get to Valhalla. So it seems that Odin plucked us and dropped us here to do something before we actually got to get to uh, Valhalla. So, let's talk to him again. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. So these are the Vegvisir, Veg, Vegvisir stones. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Eichthir, your first prey. He has a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. So, that is there, Eichthir. Okay, that's interesting. So, as I told you, I was doing a test run on this map, and apparently the map, like clearing the map, is universal as opposed to character. I figured this piece at least would be character specific, because you can take your characters from world to world, um, but apparently playing on with another uh, playing with another character on this island also um, provided there's no way I didn't I didn't go that far oh I bet because we flew so low because remember he took a turn and dived down over here oh wow that's interesting so just flying in revealed that little bit of the map to me. Okay, so scratch everything I just said. Apparently that is player specific and we just unlocked it because we flew so low to the ground coming in. All right, Hugan, take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother Munin tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. So basically he's just telling us we need to get some wood and stone. And it is already nighttime. Interesting. Okay. Let's find us some wood and stone. Get back. Alright. Oh, we got a neck trophy. So... Oh, that's what I was looking for here. So see, now we have a trophy of a neck. The beady eyes and razor sharp teeth belies the ostensibly calm nature of this small lizard. What now, Hugin? Be wary of weather. When the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Alright, well, we're going to need some wood for that. So let's get our torch and find some wood. Oh, here we go. Here we go with some mushrooms. So food in this game is not necessary in the sense that you'll die without it um, automatically. Um, maybe indirectly, but you won't automatically die from hunger that I've noticed. Um, but you will notice on the left-hand side here my life points are very low because I've taken damage and they're not regenerating. So if I were to eat this mushroom, um, it will give me 15 health, 20 stamina, it lasts 600 seconds, and the healing is 1 HP 
per tick. So we're going to go ahead and eat that. And then you notice I got an extra bar of stamina here. And then this, I don't know what these bars mean, but hmm, I guess that's a timer. And then um, my health will slowly start going up with that. So let's keep looking for stone and wood. What do you want? A tasty morsel. You found a snack. Okay, we already talked about that. Alright, I need... Stone and wood. And I'm not the most educational, guys. Or that's not where my strengths lie. So I'm just going to kind of give some tips as we're going along, but don't expect this to be a tutorial because I'm still fairly new myself and we're just kind of learning as we go. Oh dear. Okay, um, this is a grayling. I think they might be scared of torches. So he actually won't come in as long as I'm facing him and I have a torch. Unless I just run right up to him even. Oh no, okay. Run! Run away! Get away from me! Shoo shoo! Alright, this isn't gonna work. Alright, so we're gonna fight him. Okay, so if you noticed, I had like one shot at that guy. And the reason for that, okay, so we got resin now, um, is because if you saw those little, that yellow indicator above his head, it meant that he wasn't aware of me. I mean, at least I think that's what that symbol means. Um, and then whenever they're not aware of you, you're basically doing like sneak damage or just unaware damage because I wasn't sneaking you where you can actually sneak. Um, but uh, you do much more damage if that little symbol is present because it means that they're unaware of your, your being there. Okay, let's find wood. I know I said I wasn't very educational and there I went on a rant. Alright, so... We can craft a hammer, but I really want to go ahead and get this axe so we can at least start chopping down trees more efficient, or getting wood more efficiently by chopping down trees. Oh, here we go. Found some ruins, but nothing really here to use. I don't know what dandelions are for, but oh, jeez. See, now you notice he's aware of me being here. And it took many more hits to hit him. Or to kill him, rather. Okay, so I wonder what, um... Oh, I don't know what dandelions are for. I mean, they're everywhere. And I s in meadows, so I assume they have a purpose. Um, but I'm just unaware of what that is yet. Alright. Um... Need some... Wood. Oh, that's right. I saw this on a YouTube, another Let's Play. You can punch these for wood. It just takes quite a few hits. Did I literally get one piece of wood from that? Oh well, that's enough. Alright, so let's craft our stone axe. And then we'll get some... Now we get the wood cutting skill, and then we're just going to go ahead and gather up some wood. So we can make a little fire. Oh, in order to do that, we need a hammer. So we're going to go ahead and craft that. And you'll notice it's going to unlock a lot of new recipes for us. So let's go ahead and equip our hammer. And then for a fire, we still need five stone. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Don't sneak up on me like that, dude. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. So, um... He says towering fortifications, but... My personal experience with that is it's very tricky to... build anything very tall. There are ways to do it. Um, I've seen some people on YouTube doing it. Though I didn't watch it in depth enough to, like, just come on out here and do it myself. Okay, so we have found flint. That is good. You can find flint anywhere in the meadows along the shore of water, or along the edge of water. Um, that's just where these spawn. Okay, 
and we're going to need that in a moment to get a flint axe. So you see this little ruined house here? You always want to check these out for a couple reasons. One, they offer shelter early on, and so I can build um, a fire in here. I think it has enough ventilation that I wouldn't die from smoke. Um, and then make this a little a shelter, a cubby hole, hole for me. But they also have chests in them with loot. We have gold coins, which we can spend at the merchant once we, once we actually find them. Um, we have torches and then feathers, which we can use to make arrows later on. So let's just keep on keeping on. Pick up that wood. Okay, and if you see that blinking over there on our food icon, that means that we're losing the benefit of the mushroom, um, and it is starting to wear off. At the point, whenever it's blinking, you can once again eat that type of food. So we're going to go ahead and recharge it. Goodness gracious, I'm just walking aimlessly. I was trying to go back to our little stone circle so we don't lose it. All right, so we've got the jump skill now. Um, because what I want to do is kind of stay centralized to this location until we are have a bit of a stockpile and can go out um, and be a little more prepared whenever we do. So... And I lost that house too. Alright, so here we are. Oh, and necks are afraid of fire. So that's if they're ever chasing you, I mean, I don't know when you'd really be in danger of them hurting you, but um, if they're chasing you, you can pull out your torch and they also won't attack you. I think the same goes for boars. Oh my god. I thought that was like a huge gray dwarf. Will you not do that? Oh, shoot. This is my workbench from that other time I was here. I should have cleared this off before I started. That was kind of cheating. But here's a workbench. We'll just make use of it. Okay. Um, well, it's daytime now, or starting to be. Let's see what we can do here. We're not going to be able to do anything. So crafting stations have to have a roof attached. Um, initially, whenever I was just starting out, I thought I had to build a whole building. Um, but in reality, you don't. You can just, say, build a wall. And then a little short piece of roofing. Boom. And then there we go. So let's do that. Oh, <laughs> Well, I thought I could do that. Apparently, I made a liar out of myself. Um, ah! Go away. We are trying to do something here. Alright, let's see. Now we got a wall. And then we'll do another little roof. Okay, this is just inefficient, so let's do this. Oh, and whenever you break things down, you do get all of your resources back. Um, I don't know if it will always be like that, but that is the case now. So let's do that, and then... Boom. And... Boom. There we go. So got it fully covered now. We didn't have to build a whole house and we can actually use it. So for a flint axe we do need four more wood and we already have the flint and then this is just a stronger tier axe. So if you look here um, we see our slash damage, um, block power, parry force, etc, etc um, as compared to the stone axe which has five less damage here, ten less damage uh, with the block power and then Oh no, the block power is the same, so just the damage itself changes. 
So, um, oh, and it's free to repair any of your tools. It doesn't cost any resources, so click that whenever you can. And let's grab some more wood. flint axe and we can go ahead and make a hoe but I don't know if we really need that yet I'll uh, we'll leave it there okay I do need to learn how to make a bow though because I'm not gonna be able to hunt um, deer without that and we're gonna need that to start getting our armor and stuff come here little boar there we go or maybe I don't Okay. But I did learn how to make the axe. Oh, hey. Alright, so we got a bunch of recipes now. And you may have noticed uh, I did unlock the raft. Um, <laughs> unless I'm using that thing completely wrong, it's next to useless. Um, it is the slowest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, let's see. I have crafted a boat, though I almost immediately lost it to a sea dragon thing, um, and, and that the comparison between the two was astronomical. Um, the boats are much faster. Uh, let's see, what was I doing? Oh yes. We are going to put our hammer away so we can use this, and then a crude bow. We need eight leather scraps and ten wood, so let's go hunt some more boars. trying to see if I had any clothes on and I don't, which means I guess that's just like a base tunic. Alright, come on pigs, where are you? It would be easier to spot them if it weren't so foggy out right now. Um, but that's just a, a weather effect we have to deal with at the moment. Oh, we got raspberries, so that will further improve our health pool and stamina pool. And raspberries. Um, health is 10, health is 15. So they offer a little bit less health, the same amount of stamina, and the same amount of, uh, the same, it lasts for the same amount of time and, and does the same amount of healing. Um, but those two together give us a larger health and stamina pool, so we'll be a little more effective while we're out here. I've typically found more boars also out here in these little fields. Let's see. I really shouldn't be picking up all those dandelions. I don't have a lot of storage right now, and I can always come get more later. Alright, so we're just keeping an eye out for boars anywhere we may see them out here. I heard something. We're going to have a lot of raspberries. I really wish this fog would go on somewhere. Alright. Let's just see what... If we can... Oh, there's some. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Come here, boar. There we go. So this should put us like right at six. Oh, see, there's a deer. Oh, we won't be able to get close enough to kill it. That's why we need the bow. Alright, let's see what's in this little hut. Oh, it's a beehive. 
another reason to have a bow because then I can just shoot it down to destroy it and then get a queen bee and that would be our first um, first and easiest farm farmable item that I found is a is an apiary because um, honey is pretty good for healing and it's an, a renewable source of, of food as well all right okay we're getting kind of far now from our base area but let's try and take a different path back and uh, find some more boar because we need at least two more scraps to get our bow and then once we have our bow um, it'll kind of make it a little quicker and easier to hunt and we'll just kind of progress from there so I think for this episode I'm gonna go ahead and head back to our centralized location get our scraps along the way and uh, make the bow and then um, for the next episode after that um, we are going to go hunting craft us some first tier armor and uh, see about building us a little shelter and some storage as we're trying to get our feet underneath us here Oh, here we go. We got a little tower. Oh, look at that. You see that chest hiding up there? Haha. <laughs> oh, got some arrows, so we won't have to craft those. Got another torch. Oh, and we got some mushrooms down here. I'm assuming this is maybe an outhouse. <laughs> and that's why there's mushrooms growing under there. Gross, but, you know, you eat what you eat. Or whatever you can, I guess. Alright, we're going to start angling north here. I just want to check out... Oh, wow. That's a pretty good sized village ruin over here. You know, we could kind of repurpose this area. And just make this our starter area. It's not too far from the first boss. Is this like a little signpost? Okay. Oh, there's a boar. Need more mushroom. Alright, come here, little guy. Got him. Alright, where are your friends? They should be around here somewhere. Let's see what we have in here. An old bed. Oh, here we go. More fl oh, more arrows. That's nice. Got some more flint. Some amber, which is valuable. I assume you just sell these to um, the merchant whenever you find them, because I've yet to find any other use for them. Um, oh, here we go. I wonder if I can... 16 wood? Okay. Take it. So now we have plenty of wood. Now there should be some more boars around here because I know I killed that one. Where is the sun at? I have a sun about to go down and I bet it is. Oh, these little areas are supposedly... Um, they have treasure in them. So we're going to have to come back here. I do need to mark... Possible base area. So we'll come back here. Oh wow, okay, so we have some black forest already. Ooh, right on the edge of a snow biome too. Well, this would be a nice little place to set up and prepare. Oh, that's a real gray dwarf. I mean, I've wandered into the black forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared for it. Prove your worth by slaying Ike there. I really should not even be trying this, but it is what it is. Alright, gotcha. Turn back, this is a dangerous place. Oh, I will. He's not just gonna let me go now. Oh, jeez. Alright. 
All right, let's head back to our place. We're really not in any position to be trying to explore the Black Forest yet. So it looks like it, it oh, there's a board. It runs all along here. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. We've got a lot of them here. Oh, and this one is a one star boar, so it will give us more. Oh, that's a one star troll. Okay, come on. Okay, there's that. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm not trying to fight all of you. I just want my boar meats. Done it now. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. We're, we're probably screwed. Oh, God. What was I thinking? Okay, he's wandering back. Oh, gosh. I honestly did not expect that many of you. I have enough stamina to really get away from them. Oh god, you're kidding me. Well, didn't think that jump through. Alright guys, well, um, I think that's a sign. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video here, um, or the episode, we'll leave it off here, and then I will pick right back up here and go retrieve our things and then once we have our things we'll come back here and really prepare ourselves for that area um, because I do want to make that our um, initial initial base so thank you guys for watching um, and I will catch you in the next episode bye